eggs in society. That's why we need cops in the first place, to catch rotten eggs from stealing or trying to kill us, that kind of thing. But somewhere along the line in society, the cops went from being good guys that catch bad guys to being the bad guys themselves. Bad guys who ensnare good people into doing bad things for bad reasons, like police quotas or quelling activism, to the point where a lot of people call cops pigs. But perhaps it would be more accurate to call them chickens. At least you can call a cop in Lake Elsinore, California a chicken, because recently one of them dressed up in a giant chicken suit to conduct a crosswalk enforcement operation. The officer in a chicken suit walked out into crosswalks at five different locations across the city and gave out 31 tickets to bad egg drivers who didn't yield to the chicken properly. People in Elsinore have complained numerous times about unsafe drivers around their schools, so the police's chicken sting operation could be seen as an earnest effort to improve safety in the community. Still, police were definitely out that day to ensnare people not yielding to weirdos in chicken outfits. And it wasn't the first time police in that area have been out to coax people into being bad eggs. In July, the 2013 Lightning in a Bottle Music and Arts Festival was held in a nearby park where 58 people were arrested for drugs. The arrests caused outrage, as many people say the cops were overzealous in their undercover cop pushing drugs routine and were way out of bounds arresting innocent people. This was at a festival that composted their trash, by the way, and stayed three days after the event was over to pick up anything left behind, including cigarette butts. And the Lake Elsinore police just set up a DUI checkpoint in another coordinated effort to ensnare the public. So, the cop in a chicken outfit could be seen as just trying to keep bad eggs from breezing through walkways by schools in a creative way. Or it could be seen as yet another tactic of the police trying to ensnare good people into doing something bad. It's hard to say how we got to a place in society where the people who are supposed to protect us have become someone we see as the bad guy. I guess it begs the question, which came first, the chicken or the rotten eggs? Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.